Welcome to Auburn University's Spring 2018 Graduation Ceremony. We'll begin our ceremony with the presentation of the colors. I'll ask that all gentlemen please remove their headdress for the presentation of the colors and during our national anthem. And please remain standing. March on the colors. Dr. Matthew Hoke, Associate Professor of Voice, will lead us in singing our national anthem. He'll be accompanied by the Auburn University Graduation Band, conducted by Dr. Rick Good, Director of Bands. <laughs> Stripes and the bright stars through the peril thus fight. O'er the ramparts we watched, were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air. It moves through the night that our flag. Thank you. Retire the colors. Please be seated. Graduation is the most distinguished and important ceremony we host here at Auburn University. It is a symbolic closing of a very transformative chapter in your academic pursuits and the launch of a new chapter, one that holds great promise and limitless possibility. I'm grateful to celebrate this momentous occasion with each and every one of you. I would now like to introduce some members of the platform party. Others will be introduced later in the ceremony. As I call your name, please rise. Mr. Clark Saley, Auburn University Board of Trustees. Dr. Bill Hardgrave, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Bobby Woodard, Senior Vice President for Student Affairs. Dr. John Mason, Vice President for Research and Economic Development. Dr. Taffy Benson Clayton, Vice President for Inclusion and Diversity. Ms. Jane DeFalco Parker, Vice President for Development and President of the Auburn University Foundation. A special introduction from Mr. Grant Davis, Secretary of the Board, who has served this university admirably for decades has been on the commencement platform for 19 years and be retiring this summer. Thank you for your service. <laughs> Ms. Jamie Hammer, General Counsel. Ms. Nancy No, Interim Dean of the Libraries. 
Dr. George Crandall, Associate Dean of the Graduate School, Dr. Charles Israel, Associate Dean for Academic Affairs, College of Liberal Arts, Dr. Daniel Swantek, Chair of the University Senate and Professor in the Department of Psychology in the College of Liberal Arts, Dr. William Powell, Graduation Marshal and Professor of Music and Director of Choral Activities in the College of Liberal Arts. Dr. Jennifer Robinson, Associate Professor of Psychology at the College of Liberal Arts, as our mace bearer. Dr. I mean, Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey Wellborn, Commanding Officer, Air Force ROTC. Lieutenant Colonel Rashawn Steele, Commanding Officer, Army ROTC. Lieutenant Colonel Wellborn and Lieutenant Colonel Steele both have served Auburn admirably in their posts have now been reassigned by their services. We're moving on from Auburn. We thank them for their time at Auburn and their great service to this university. <laughs> Captain, Captain Willie Billingsley, Commanding Officer, Naval ROTC. Mr. Rick Smith, Graduation Reader and Lecturer in the School of Communication and Journalism and Mr. Steve Geis, Interpreter for the Deaf, Office of Accessibility. Let's have a round of applause for all of these individuals. Now, graduates are faculty members who played a major role in preparing you for the next step in your lives. They have mentored you, challenged you, and propelled you. Will the members of our faculty with us today please rise? We thank you for your applause for these tireless individuals who have devoted their time and efforts to shape these graduates' minds and poise them for success. I'd like to ask our candidates for graduation to now stand. Candidates, I hope you heard that applause, but that's not why I asked you to stand. I wanted you to stand so you can look around this arena. These seats are filled with your biggest supporters, your friends and your family. They have worked and wished and waited for this day almost as much as you have. They've come from far and wide to celebrate with you today. They encourage you throughout the pursuit of your degrees. Why don't you give them a round of applause and thank them for their support. Graduates, you are joining an incredible family of Auburn alumni. Since our establishment in 1856, Auburn has awarded more than 320,000 degrees. This spring will award 4,027 degrees at the doctorate, master's, and bachelor's levels. Our graduates have moved on to make meaningful impacts in our community, our state, our nation, and around the globe. I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. I look forward to following your success and seeing the mark you make on the world. Now I have the wonderful opportunity to introduce our commencement speaker. We are pleased to have Melanie Barstad with us today to deliver our commencement address. Melanie graduated from Auburn in 1975 with a Bachelor of Arts in English. Throughout her career, she served in executive level positions in many Fortune 500 companies. She recently retired as the president of women's health at Johnson & Johnson. She also served Johnson & Johnson as the president of acute care, the vice president and general manager of global vascular access, and as the co-chair of the Women's Leadership Initiative. She made a name for herself as a strategic and innovative leader, thriving in forward-thinking business environments. She has always valued collaboration as a talent for engaging people in the vision and mission of the organization. Her initiatives were often enterprise-wide, creating opportunities that both saved costs and avoided compliance risk. She also revised business strategies, made operations more efficient, and improved profit margins. 
so it's also shown a commitment to education while serving as the vice president of marketing for johnson and johnson melanie successfully completed the columbia university senior executive development program she has served on several boards including current positions on the synthesis board of directors and auburn's very own college of liberal arts dean's advisory council previously she served on the auburn university foundation board of directors she has also been the recipient of many honors and awards most recently she received the auburn university lifetime achievement award from the auburn alumni association we're so pleased to have her today to deliver a charge to our graduates please join me in welcoming melanie barstein and War Eagle. War Eagle. Boy, what an exciting day. And you are probably thinking, she has got to be old. <laughs> well, you know, life has three stages, youth, middle age, and you are looking good. <laughs> well, you guys really look good. Thank you, President Lee, for that kind introduction. And I have to tell you, I could not have imagined when I graduated in 1975 that I would travel the path that I did. And yes, if you can do the math, that was 43 years ago. Um, I could not have imagined that I would be invited back to Auburn for such a great honor as to speak today. So thank you, Dean Astrup, for inviting me back. This is truly a great honor, and this is a great day, and a beautiful day. But I have to tell you, as I think about my journey, it was an improbable journey. Anything can happen when you graduate from Auburn. And I'll tell you about some key truths that I've had, and I'm going to talk to you about a little golden book. This is my golden book, Nurse Nancy, and I found this in a pile of books that my mother took down to my grandmother's house. And this is still on the bookshelves in Barnes and Noble if you want to read it. But unlike others who may be invited to speak at a commencement ceremony, I have to tell you when I came to Auburn in 1971, I really did not have any idea what I wanted to do with my life. I did not know what I wanted to major in my father suggested I be a teacher, read Nurse Nancy. But I didn't really think I wanted to be a teacher, but I really did not know what I wanted to do. But I knew that I had confidence that I could do anything I really wanted to do because I grew up in a South Alabama family farm. And I had parents that instilled in me a, instilled in me a strong sense of ethics of values, and they put in me a sense of confidence that whatever I decided, I would do well. And I was very fortunate. The other thing I was fortunate about was that my parents were first-generation college graduates. And that was very, very unusual for my era and for my parents, because my parents, James and Juanita Watley in Dothan, Alabama, they were born in 1916 and 1917. And they married very late in their lives after World War II, and I was the youngest of their children. And they held education in very high regard. But remember, I grew up on a family farm. My father had two degrees from the University of Alabama, and my mother had her first degree, it was a two-year teaching certificate from Troy Teachers College and I'll hold for a moment where her second degree was from. So as I put together my thoughts for what could I possibly tell each of you on this very important day, I need to tell you that no one stands alone. Your family, your friends, many people, teachers, professors, everyone is here because I, like you, have been shaped by others. And you do not realize how many people put an imprint on your lives. And you, too, are imprinting other people. And you will shape others. 
as you now take these steps away from Auburn. Life is about a series of choices and decisions, and you are about to have so, so many more choices and decisions. So as I stand here today, I'd like to frame my comments in around key themes and key truths that I have learned around my improbable journey. Some of these key themes are life is rarely neat, and the choices you make oftentimes have to be made in a fog. So I'm going to tell you, you have to embrace the fog. I almost missed one of my most important opportunities, and I'll tell you about that in a moment. I will also tell you the best things in life are often disguised, and you may almost miss them if you don't look carefully. I will also tell you that you have to learn to lead from the second row, and I have a little friend up here that's about to take a liking to a flower. <laughs> Whoops, there he goes. But I'm getting ahead of myself in my story. I learned along my journey, but especially at Johnson & Johnson, that a person's legacy and imprint behaves somewhat like a punctuation mark at the end of a sentence. Now, not right now, but later. Look on your iPhones. How many punctuation marks exist? So I will say that your legacy may behave like that punctuation mark. Will your legacy, will my legacy stand out over the test and stand the test of time? Will it matter? Will it be forgotten? Will it be lost in the noise of a busy life? Will it whisper? Will it tell its story quietly? Will it softly leave its impact on others? Are other people's punctuation marks leaving their impact on you? Will it imprint those people that it touches? I will say yes, it does. So let's begin our journey. And what I would like you to do is take a, take a trip with me back to 1975, when I looked more like you with my long blonde hair. And I said in my cap and gown, just like you are, not in this arena, but in a different place, and my mom and dad and my whole family was there with me. And I did not understand what was coming. And I listened to other people I didn't know and wished they would hurry up because I believe looking back helps us understand what the future may hold. When I graduated from Auburn in 1975, and I did graduate in four years, the inflation rate in the U.S was 9.5% and the unemployment rate was 9.2%. So pretty much one out of every 10 people was, having, was not working. The Dow closed that year at a whopping, everybody think about a number, the number was 858. The Dow, somebody's laughing, the, somebody's looking at the Dow. The Dow right now is over 24,000. Whoop, there he goes. Um, the average cost of a new car in 1975 was just over $4,000. And no, I did not get a new car when I graduated. We'll talk about that again in a minute. And the average cost of a gallon of gas, think about a number, was 44 cents. So life was indeed different, but I will tell you it was exactly the same for us graduating in 1975. Auburn was a challenging place. It was an interesting place to be. In 1975, the Vietnam War ended in April of that year. And I remember sitting in dorm three, which is Little Hall, and watching the planes come in with the Vietnam POWs. And we wore those metal bracelets for all of our years at Auburn, hoping that our POW would come home. But. There were other things going on. Our students were very vocal, and we lived here under the careful, watchful eye of Dean Foy and Dean Cater. Remember Cater Hall? We had Dean Cater. And we had a lot happening. We had not panty rays, but we had the famous Auburn streakers. I was not one of them, I will tell you that. We had curfews for women, but not for men. There was a lot going on about women's issues then, as are women's issues top of mind now. But culturally, 
we had a lot of things happening at Auburn. We had Tina Turner come to campus, among many others, Leonard Nimoy, Vincent Bugliosi, I hope you know a couple of those names. These two you will know. We had Muhammad Ali come to campus. He almost created a riot from a few things he did. He invited the entire call, uh, campus to come see Dean Cater. That did not go over well with Dean Cater. Let me tell you, and guess who else we had? Elvis. We had the real Elvis. And he was splendid in his white spandex suit, throwing his scarves into the audience. I know you know these people. But we have to move on to our serious thoughts because today is a day to celebrate and a day of serious thoughts. Life is a succession of lessons and you must live these lessons to really understand it. Now, Helen, Ke that is a quote from Helen Keller and no, she was not a student when I was here. But a new phase of living begins for many of you today and leave all of them, Auburn, you must. But I, unlike you perhaps, had to face the future. And remember for me, I did not know for sure what I wanted to do for my future. So when it came time for me to begin interviewing for jobs, I had a degree that I was about to leave Auburn with in English and psychology. I decided on that degree because I thought I wanted to go to law school and become an attorney. Not unlike the speaker yesterday at the uh, commencement ceremonies, I don't, know what I, I, would, I don't know what I was thinking. My father had wanted me to be a teacher, but I wanted to be in the College of Arts and Sciences. You weren't here, the, the dean wasn't here, but I knew that's where I belonged. So I had to figure out how to get my teaching certificate so I would please my father and still stay in the School of Arts and Sciences, which was the precursor to the College of Liberal Arts. I did it. I think I graduated with 50 extra hours, but I did it. But I really did not feel I was called to be a teacher. But I learned that career choices for my degree in 1975 were very limited. But there is good news. There, in, there is a happy ending. As I left Auburn with that degree, I had a most improbable journey. And I was indeed lucky. But I want to talk about luck. My life took me to Johnson & Johnson for 25 years, but I did not start there. And I spent the last seven years with Johnson & Johnson as a president. Now remember, I had an English and psychology degree, and I hate to say it, but I never took a business course. That was a major mistake for me, and I don't know what I was thinking, but I did not have a typical foundation for a business person. But I will tell you, it's not what your degree is in, it's what you do with your degree that will take you sometimes through this life. So I will give you some context on these few key truths that I'd like to share. My first job out of Auburn that I actually secured six months before I graduated Half of the seniors at Auburn were trying to get this job. It was with Procter & Gamble, and I was going to sell packaged soap and detergent to grocery stores. Now, with my degree, that was one of the few companies that was coming on campus that was open to interviewing general curriculum type degrees. And they tested us every which way but Sunday. And I got the job, and I got a company car, and I made a lot of money, but I was scared to death. It was, selling was the last thing I expected that I wanted to do. So I was terrified of that job, but I accepted it anyway. And my roommate sat me down and said, even if you don't think you can do it, they saw something in you that they think you can do it. I almost missed my opportunity because I could not see the end from the beginning, and it was, I, it was a fog to me. So I will tell you, take the risk, embrace the fog, don't be afraid of something that you are not sure you can do. 
Now, what that job for Procter & Gamble taught me was what I liked. It stretched me. It also taught me what I did not like and what I did not want to do. And ultimately, that job caused me to sit down and let me know that what I did want to do was work for Johnson & Johnson. And it helped me, mac out, mac, helped me mark down a path as to how could I get to Johnson & Johnson. But luck is a matter of preparedness meeting opportunity. I was prepared, and I met that opportunity. And I was probably the most unlikely person to have gotten that job. What I did not realize was one of the positions Procter & Gamble was hiring for, they were specifically looking for a woman. Procter & Gamble had no female sales representatives in 1975. The good news is they have many female sales representatives now. So I was lucky, but I was prepared and I met the opportunity. Even Tim Cook, when he spoke here in 2010 as a commencement speaker said, prepare for your moment and never give up. The Auburn Creed tells us, I believe in work, hard work. Preparedness meeting opportunity is the definition of luck. Our, my second key truth I'd like to, to suggest to you is there's never a right time to do the wrong thing. Ethics matter. Character shows when no one is watching. If you ever have said, what were they thinking? It's probably a host of small wrong decisions. A test you can always use is, could I explain this in the front on the front page of the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, or could I be a Mark Zuckerberg standing in front of Congress or sitting in front of Congress, Congress for eight hours explaining why Facebook lost data? Could I tell my grandparents what I decided? Ethics matter, character shows when no one is watching. And if you look again at the Auburn Creed, obedience to the law and a spirit which is not afraid, ethics, honesty, and truthfulness matter. My next key truth that I have learned along the way is there's no limit to what a man or a woman can do if he or she does, does not care who gets credit. And this is about learning to lead from the second row. It's not about you, it's about everyone but you. If you're in a leadership or management role, it's more important that your team or the people who report to you are developed and they will ensure that you are successful. People matter more, matter most, and your people matter more than you do. And the last truth I'd like to bring to your attention that I have learned is when much is given, much is required. Your Auburn degree, no matter how hard you worked, how hard your parents worked to make sure that you were able to be here, your education is a gift. And therefore, you are a gift. You are a gift to this world. And the world needs you. There are issues you can work on, issues you can solve, and people you can impact. I was very fortunate that I, my English degree, and my sales job selling Tide to grocery stores, leaving Auburn, led me to a career with Johnson & Johnson. And Johnson & Johnson is a 70-plus billion dollar corporation that operates in over 200, has 200 operating companies and operates in over 60 uh, countries. I had an opportunity with that corporation to be involved in the medical device and diagnostics division and implantables in products that save lives and stents that work for people having heart attacks and drugs and devices that stop bleeding when people are about to die. I was involved in products that help women not have adhesions once they've had surgery. And I have had the great opportunity to travel with that great company. And I've, I have been able to travel the dirt roads of Africa and to see people who have 
almost nothing but the clothes on their back. And I've been to the mountains of Tibet in my life, and I have seen people that have sit by the side of the road trade, trying to trade sticks for a cup of milk so that their child can have a meal. And I have seen women crawling on their hands and knees up a mountain to pray to a god so that their family can have favor. I've worked in countries where health care is totally non-existent and AIDS and diseases that we don't even recognize anymore exist now and they have to worry about whether or not the mothers and the children will survive. And families have extra children in some of these countries just so that they will have enough children survive so that their families will continue to exist. We have so much in this great land that we sometimes take it for granted. But in other parts of this great world, it does not exist. We are fortunate. Do not waste your degree. Do not waste your youth. Do not waste your life. Your talents and your degree, no matter what your degree is in, matters. And you can make a difference. So be kind and be present. Trust your intuition. Prepare and dream big and learn to lead from the second row because you will have a huge impact on others. Your punctuation marks matter. I will choose to close with an excerpt from another Auburn commencement address. And it goes as this, as you graduate from Auburn today, there's good reason to believe that the present world conflict will be won in the not too distant future by the forces of freedom. And when this is accomplished, your generation, like those of the past, will face an even greater challenge, that of finding a way to preserve world peace. But whether our efforts are or are not favored by life, let us be able to say, when we come near the great goal, I have done what I could. I read this from a commencement address delivered by L. N. Duncan, who was president of Alabama Polytechnic Institute. Of course, you know that's the precursor to Auburn. The date on this is August 27, 1943, and my mother, Juanita Lee Watley, sat in that graduating class, and that is during World War II, and I found this in her papers. So my final advice for you comes from Mae West, and she says, you only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. So I and now we, as you get your diplomas, are fortunate to know that our once began here at Auburn. Thank you, and God speed you on your journey. Thank you, Mrs. Barstad, for your inspiring remarks. It is my pleasure to recognize several groups of students who are graduating with academic honors. First, I would like to recognize those undergraduates who are graduating with honors based upon their cumulative grade point average. Students with a grade point average between 3.4 and 3.59 graduate cum laude, and I ask our cum laude degree candidates to rise and be recognized. You may be seated. Students with a grade point average of 3.6 to 3.79 graduate magna cum laude, and I ask our magna cum laude degree candidates to rise and be recognized. You may be seated. Students with a grade point average of 3.8 and above graduate summa cum laude, and I ask our summa cum laude degree candidates to rise and be recognized. You may be seated. 1979 marked the beginning of the honors program at Auburn University. 
in one thousand nine hundred eight that program became the honors college honors college students graduate either with the distinction of university honors scholar or honors scholar would all those who have earned the distinction of university honors scholar or honors scholar please rise you may be seated Phi Kappa Phi is Auburn's highest all-discipline academic honorary, and members represent the top 10%, 10% of the college. I now recognize those initiated into Phi Kappa Phi. Please rise. You may be seated. I would now like to recognize those degree candidates in the arts and sciences who have been inducted into Phi Beta Kappa the nation's oldest academic honorary. Would our inductees into Phi Beta Kappa please rise and be recognized. You may be seated. I would also like to recognize our military service members. Would those degree candidates who were commissioned in the military services please rise. I now ask that all active duty and veteran service members, both graduates and those in the audience, please rise. Thank you for your service to our country. Would Dean George Flowers of the Graduate School please come forward? Would Jason Michael True please stand? On behalf of the faculty in the Graduate School, I would like to introduce our student marshal, Jason True, who is receiving a Doctorate of Philosophy in History. Jason is from Montgomery, Alabama. Now would all the candidates for the degrees of uh, for the doctoral degrees, please rise. <clears throat> Trustee Sailing, President Leith, and Provost Hargrave, on behalf of the graduate faculty, it is my pleasure to present these doctoral candidates for the conferral of their degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me as a member of the Board of Trustees of Auburn University, I do now confer upon each of you the doctoral degree to which you are entitled, with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto pertaining. Please be seated. The doctorate is the highest degree awarded in the Academy of Universities. Part of the tradition associated with the awarding of this degree is a special ceremony involving the presentation of a doctoral hood. Would the major professors of the doctoral candidates please escort your graduate to the stage to be hooded as Professor Smith calls their name. Members of the Registrar's Office will direct you to the stage. Dr. Jason True, put it by Dr. Alan Meyer. Dr. Matthew Sparaccio, put it by Dr. Catherine Braund.
Dr. Farhat D, headed by Dr. Dilip Sorak. Dr. Robin Miller, headed by Dr. Alicia Carroll. Dr. Elissa Hack, headed by Dr. Jenron Fan. Dr. Lu Jing, headed by Dr. Fan. Dr. Paige Hartman, headed by Dr. Jesse Michael. Dr. Sadie O'Neill, hooded by Dr. Michael. Dr. Ayanda Sakawa, hooded by Dr. Stephen Shapiro. Dr. Molly Armstrong. Hooded by Dr. Sridhar Krishnamarty. Dr. Shelby Peeler, hooded by Dr. Krishnamarty. Dr. Madison Mitchell, hooded by Dr. Aurora Weaver. Dr. Daniel Sacinelli, hooded by Dr. Reaver. Dr. Hannah Bannon, hooded by Dr. Weaver. Dr. Diana Tingle Gould. Headed by Dr. Alicia Jones. Dr. Rachel Garrett, headed by Dr. Jones. Dr. Lauren Cassidy, headed by Dr. Jones. Please join me in congratulating these two doctoral graduates. Now, would all the candidates for master's degrees please rise? <laughs> Trustee Saley, President Leith, and Provost Hargrave. On behalf of the graduate faculty, it is my pleasure to present these master's candidates for the conferral of their degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me as a member of the Board of Trustees of Auburn University, I do now confer upon each of you the master's degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto pertaining. Please be seated. Graduates will come forward as Professor Smith calls your name. Members of the Registrar's Office will direct you to the stage.
Austin, Spain. Mary Kitts. Graham Neely. Nisha Shearet. Natalie Sands. Zachary Paget. Haley Taylor Markovich. Marianne McCarley. Hendrix Story III. Mary Courier. Amanda Guthrie. Megan Bringle. Zukun Chen. Jenny Burrell. Elise Scott. Janiqua Williams. Jordan Tate Hall. Jay Stringer Jones. James Howell. Deandra Nabrato. Amanda White. Brittany Hudson. Yu Ying Huang. Amanda Nightfeld. Anna Catherine Edgman. Jody Kuhn. Benjamin Hatley. Jessica Palmier. Barthi Chinapan. Cassidy McDougall. Jeffrey James. Harvin Sundar. Ashley Durance. Samuel Wade. Harry Lewis. Caitlin Joanne Clark. Morgan Schaefer. Akshata Balgare. Stephen Parsons. Asia Potts. Hannah Harkins. Sarah King. Irene Zarita Marino. Sophia Monson Rodriguez. Maria Colangelo. Juan Barrios Romero. Juan Garrido Pozu. Caitlin Valley. Alan Zagara Acevedo. Emily Zolaz. Catherine Williams. Amanda Nichols. Juliana Ferguson. Christine Clark. Caroline Weiss. Rachel Noakes. Catherine Searcy. Sarah Sasser. Caroline Madden. Anna Simpson. Emily Spencer. Andrea Tudelamando. Joanna Hopper. Kristen Warman. Maggie Love. Ellen Marsh. Quincy Nance. Haley Williams. Nicole Hammer. Haley Parker.
please congratulate these master's graduates. We now come to the conferring of the undergraduate degrees. Mr. President, the Dean of the College will come forward and present the candidates who have been approved by the faculty and recommended for the appropriate undergraduate degrees. Dean Joseph A. Strip, College of Liberal Arts. Would Carolee Grace Ruth Collier please stand? On behalf of the faculty of the College of Liberal Arts, I would like to introduce our student marshal, Carol Lee Collier, who is receiving a degree in English. Carol Lee is from Birmingham, Alabama. <laughs> would all the degree candidates from the College of Liberal Arts please stand? War Eagle. <laughs> Trustee Saley, President Leith, and Provost Hargrave, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Liberal Arts, it is my pleasure to present these students for the conferral of the bachelor's degree. By virtue of the authority vested in me as a member of the Board of Trustees of Auburn University, I do now confer upon each of you the bachelor's degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto pertaining. Please be seated. <laughs> Graduates, you will now come forward to be introduced as Professor Smith calls your name. Members of the Registrar's Office will direct you to the stage. The College of Liberal Arts, Dean Joseph Astrup, Kendall Klump, Carly Cowell, Hannah Kramer, Kelsey Tucker, Rachel Brock, Hallie Reagan, Delaney McDevitt, Alyssa Desilrias, Corey Gibbs, Spencer Massey, Kyle McLaughlin, Adriana Brannon, Andrew Patterson, Caleb Smith, Mason Estes, Brooke Buckles, Allison Davis, Carly White, Melissa Orr, Andrew Webb, Haley Weiss, Julie Spear, Lauren McKinney, Matthew Copeland, Beth Ann Austin, Catherine Windham, Gwendolyn Hooks, Hannah Gamble, Carolee Grace Ruth Collier, Jordan Gant, Alina Wisniewski, Emily Chapman, Woo! 
Lyra Galley, Jessica Sullivan, Tyler Wicks, Yurim Zhang, Sarah Ellis, Lauren Hinton, Jennifer Turner, Blair Bailey, Alexander Thompson, Sydney Baker, Mary Linda Fu, Caroline Taylor, Morgan Edwards, Julia Shelley, Amanda Howard, Faith Webb, Samuel Murphy, James Corrington Hershey, Marion Claire Gamble, Brittany Harris, Catherine Bibby, Allison Klebus, Jasmine Gomez, Quasi Gaba, Ashley Masters, Corinne Bloom, Katie Tubbs, Brooke Thornton, Blythe Morocco, Olivia Bratton, Katie Peace, Brenna Rary, Ella Sullins, Courtney Guidi, Elizabeth Neal, Margaret Wise, Jordan Greer, Caroline Seaman, Audra Reeves, Anna Laura Killian, Carolyn Casey Bowen, Whitney Poe, Katie Grant Harkness, Matthew Goff, Christina Porlas, Danielle Cernet, Jason Proctor, Colin Garfunkel, Justin Hild, Allison Barilloni, Malin McCracken, Madison Arrington, Haley Bryan, Claire Massey, Connor Casey, Robin Aldridge, Haley Wright, Zachary McKinnell, Stephen Cummings, Sam Smith, Keith Gamble, Madison Latham, Kristen Burton, Christy Clayton, Catherine Sergis, Abigail Parker, Sarah Polcheski, Carter Gustin, Michael Edward Grissett II, Ethan Wooten, Chandler Steverson, Caroline King, Mallory Marcus, Elise Van Motter, John Harrell, Benjamin Cease, John Braswell, 
Todd Smith. Michaela Owens. Thomas Taylor. Don Tavius Jamal Russell. McKenna Schellenbarger. Richard Stockton. Taylor White. Hannah K. Fleming. Morgan Kane. Hannah Lupton. Annalise Vanett. Curry Cates. Alex Patrick. Samuel Clement. Seamus White. Romano Jesus II. Zeno Osehobo. Kyra Brown. Urkayla Thompson. Laquisha King. Brianna Duvall. Emily Brock. Andrew Avali. Haley Lawyer. Catherine Gilreath. Harper Glass. Reagan Rudder. Mansell. Chloe Mansell. Shannon Powell. Tucker Boatwright. Cassidy Bauman. Jordan Doggett. Olivia Belinsky. Kaylee Turner. Madison Temple. Emily Maggio. Clara Bray. Elizabeth Acuff. Emily Ullman. Timothy Singleton. Lauren Huey. Johnny Dowdell. Elizabeth Watson. Joshua Knight. Tiara Baker. Renaya Farrow. <laughs> Jamel Dean. Joshua Anthony. Tommy Davis the second. Robert Autry. Philip Pelado. Brittany Callahan. Stephen Mixon. Davis Faulkner. Brian Massey Jr. Angela Mangoni. Alexandra Loth, Eleanor Porter, Emily Sherrod, Ashley Ozert, Kristen Turley, Claire Emeron, Carrie Marshall. 
Patrick Lee. Jason Bryan. Caitlin Smith. Madeline Varner. Christopher Heaney. Ann Dawson. Benjamin Egan. Spencer Tonarelli. Bailey Wynn. Hannah Walsh. Lexus Hers. Tristan Harris. Victoria Jackson. Marissa Spiewak. Caroline Stone. Bryce Messerly. Gannon Paget. Andrew Hubbard. Mary Elizabeth Lawhon. Jared May. Kelsey Williams. Monique Cowan. Hamira Stewart. Amori Lang. Mary Cynthia Okeke. Amanda Darnell. Mary Buckwright. Bridget Kane. Lakshmi Krishna Prasad. Tristan Brown. Caleb Wilson. Henry Cowan. John Liverant. Andrew Gibson. Daniel Dupont. Jacob Mays, Haley Black, Ethan Lindblom, Margaret Word, Khalil Henderson, Cameron Collins, Craig Dye. Allison Gentry, Nathaniel. Nathaniel Sell, Lauren Hurdy, Joseph Hooven II, TJ Strickland, Madeline Rolson, Aislinn Green, Hannah Grace Glaze, Shannon Biddy. Anne Louise Pass. Katie Kirk. Benjamin Ewing. Cannon Joseph Heisch. Nathan Cox. William Pepper. 
Victoria Sandrini Fernandez. Sarah Jarnigan. Miranda Whitten. Daniel Bond. Kiara Allen. Emma Guerin. Hannah Hazy. Alexandria Fulton. Taylor Lowry. Alexandra Castre. Madison Pooley. Kelsey Mullins. Hannah Catherine Lackey. Carrie Green. Hannah Crow. Grace McLaughlin. Alexandra Bramble. Matthew Newport. Heather Thomas. Catherine Mullinax. Lindsay Spruill. Mary Calderella. Brooklyn Weldon George. Wilby Malchuski. Caitlin Carroll. Emily Cashden. Grace Tryon. Kaylin Jackson. Lauren Yeomans. Jordan Penny. Addison Canavan. Emily Tolka. Hollis Hugie. Megan McKinstry. Caroline McMullen. Haley Arnold. Anna Moeller. Chelsea Los. Jessica Bertishaw. Celeste Forrester. Lakin Patterson. Lauren McGaney. Sydney Moore. Caitlin Wills. Mary Collins. Aaron Kenny. Emily Snell. Sarah Sanders. Emily Sturbaugh. Sarah Kate Newton. Grace Jenkins. Megan Andrus. Aliasa Brown. Alexis Durham. Lauren Nash. Kayla Steinkoff. Anna Gates. Jasmine Williams. Alicia Fonseca. Aileen Nicole Roden. Lauren Benson. Edward Eitzen. Kaylin Farmer. Kendall Hollingsworth. Taylor Cooper. Allison Bailey. Annie Jensen. Ashley Westerberg. Harry Bixler IV. Jay Anderson. Kaylee Mitchell. 
Molly Swanson. Emily Spain. Alexis Smith. Ashley Motes. Caroline Stewart. Casey Foster. Hansley Harris. Caroline Jackson. Chandler Cahoon. Caroline Friday. Robbie Koch. Christine Federinko. Chioma Hall. Ryan Griffin. Matthew Banks Sasser. Micah Roach. Kristen Vanderwall. Kaylee Horowitz. Ian Downs. Kirsten Moore. Catherine Rasco. Tiana Johnson. Claire Wade. Courtney Wise. Mary Grace Wood. Kennedy Finister. Catherine Hill. Madeline Cox. Natalia Gurmendi. Leah Armstrong. Lauren Mayfield. Mary Helen Lagarde. Abigail Rhodes. Piper Miles. Lindsay Morris. Caroline Daly. Tensei to show. Patrick Sutherland. Benjamin Strickland. Logan Pace. Dylan Renfro. Amanda Murphy. Victoria Lewis. Nakia Cheyenne Dalton. Cannon Skinner. Joseph Wordis. Tyler Miller. Allison Stanley. Caroline Morgan. Emily Bird. Jennifer Scalak. Jacqueline Keck. Hannah Clark. Samantha Moore. David Facto. Reagan Drake. Adam Pearlberg. Catherine Stotts. Caitlin Monkus. Montana Savage. Catherine Milling. Jared Dillard. Brandon Etheridge. Charles E. McCrelly. Ingrid Schneider. Reagan Ford. Kilby Young. Crystal Cafiero. Erica Roberts. Katie Dupre. Sydney Wright. Sydney Wright. Cantrell. Tempest Cantrell. Gorton. Hannah Gornto. Zach 
Zachary Tristan Watson. Are you ready for this? Bailey Smith. Zoe Hughes, Thomas. Peyton Thomason, Winter Batiste, Ryan Hampton, Amanda Toler, Caroline Connerly, Erica Welty, Molly Jewett. Stephanie Freeman, Madeline. Madeline Wiggins, Savannah Short, Emily Truitt, Kelsey Turner Hurst, Shannon Pettis, Savannah Bryant. Kylie Caldwell, Ashton Wilson, Madeline Talley, Mary Catherine Jackson, Naomi Jung, Jordan Berry, George Perrine. James Leonard, <laughs> Jeffrey Cody Baker, Chandler Cox, Cameron Petway, Jake Wilson, Taylor Jordan, Bria, Bria Butler, Brittany King. Adrian C. <laughs> Nia Humphrey. <laughs> Trey Smith. Sarah Robinson, Julia Britt, Jack Parrish, Anna Britt, Melissa Mitchell, Alexandra Foster, Kinsley Christian, Mary Lang Holland. Hayes Vinson, Hope Hayes, Judith Hornsby, Courtney Krause, John Green, Stephen Snow, Thomas Gordon, Coleman Davis, Hunter Hall, Jonathan Elgin, Keegan Hanshilton, Sasha Craver, Allison Stomper, Madeline Mullins, Jenna Stubbings, Ashton Blythe. 
Sarah Robertson. Catherine Brooks Boone. Mary Catherine Lewis. Andrea Dikosavljevich. Courtney Finley. Lorraine Lanier. Michaela Bostic. Carson Smith. Second Lieutenant Austin Buska. Second Lieutenant Nicholas Layden. Second Lieutenant Christopher Tyra. Garen McGuire. Tyler Carter. Anna Cho. Matthew DeVries. Kayla McEnroy. James Turner McCall. Aaron Dragata. Caitlin Parker. Ashley Cartwright. Frankie Troutman. Robert Devinish, Mason Osborne, Cameron Johnson, Grant Reese, Cornell. James Cornell, Donahue. Alexander Donahue, Maxwell Johnson, Stelwag. Brian Stelwag, Julia Murphy, Charles Taffel, Mary Hannah Sessoms, Alexandra Oliva, Shannon Hurst, Mary Judith Hill, Logan Barrett, Daniel Webb, Kate Stewart, Lindsay Ingalls, Jade Grogan, Caleb Libby, Francis Blumenfeld, Megan Richardson. Madison Thames, Tara Seegers, Katrina Rusinek, Joseph Wheeler, Dakota Sumter, Adam Sparks, Quinn Pippins, Carl Hackmiller, Zachary Greider, Brandon Belser, Graduates, you're now part of the Auburn alumni family. 
Gretchen Van Valkenburg, the Vice President for Alumni Affairs and the Executive Director of the Auburn Alumni Association, is here to welcome you to this exceptional group. Please welcome or join me in welcoming Ms. Van Valkenburg to this podium. Thank you, Dr. Lee. Congratulations and War Eagle. Now that you have completed the academic requirements and earned your Auburn University degree, you join a group of alumni who, like you, believe in work, hard work, honesty and truthfulness, and a spirit that is not afraid. Auburn University alumni have used their degree to serve others, better their communities, and succeed in ways they have, may never have imagined when they donned their caps and gowns on graduation day. I have no doubt that each of you will do the same. You became a member of the Auburn family when you made the decision to attend Auburn University. You made friends that will last a lifetime, you greeted strangers on Hay Day, and you rolled Tumor's Corner after a win. You studied, you played, and you belonged. Would all Auburn alumni in attendance today please stand so that may, we may recognize you? That includes you now. Thank you, you may be seated. Today, it is my honor to welcome you as the newest members of the Auburn Alumni Association. You have been greeted by several of my colleagues today who've handed you an Auburn alumni pin, and we hope that you will wear that with pride wherever you go. Next month, we'll be in touch and provide a decal for your car and additional information about the association. As you head out into the world, please remember that your Auburn Alumni Association is here to assist you in staying connected to the Auburn University and to each other. Whether you stay here in the loveliest village on the plains or you move across continents, there are plenty of ways to stay connected to Auburn University. I really encourage you to connect to the vast Auburn Alumni Network, download the Auburn alumni directory app, find a local Auburn club or affiliate group to get in, become engaged with, and please stay in touch with your schools and colleges. Once you get settled, we want to hear from you. We have a young alumni blog and we want to be able to hear your success stories and to be able to brag on you. You can visit the website to learn a little bit more about our programs and services, and we look forward to you being involved. Welcome again to your Auburn Alumni Association. I am so proud to be able to share this day with you. It is my hope that each of you will always believe in Auburn and love it. Congratulations and War Eagle. As we conclude our ceremony, I want to take a moment to recognize those who helped make this day possible. Please join me in thanking Auburn University's Graduation Committee and all those folks that worked so hard to make this day successful. And now a final thank you, and that is to our graduates. Thank you for choosing Auburn. It's been our pleasure to serve as mentors, educators, and friends. You may now turn your tassels to the left. <laughs> Graduates, we're all very proud of you. The degrees you've received will aid you in your future endeavors, both professional and personal. We're all excited to see the mark you leave on the world, and we hope that you experience a truly successful life. So congratulations and War Eagle to all of you. We'll now conclude our ceremony with the singing of the alma mater, led by Matthew Hope. 
Would everyone please stand and remain standing until the platform party, the faculty, and the new doctors have recessed from the arena. And students, you may leave your cap and gown as you exit on the right. Stop. 